Hi friends, welcome back. Today we have a DNCO unboxing on Black Friday, Thanksgiving weekend. They did a promo where you can get a box and not pay the $20 styling fee. So I figured why not order a styling box and an active box. So this is gonna be the styling box video and then you will see the active, uh, active, I can't talk, active box after this one. But I figured I'd show you what I got in my styling box. Clearly it's been opened and uh, unfurled and tried on. I do want to um, point out that Dia was so amazing because right after Thanksgiving I was in the hospital for four days and you have like a five day time limit to return these things. So I emailed them like, hey, I'm in the hospital. I don't know what I'm gonna get out. And they were so understanding. They're like, we'll move your dates back. If there's anything we can do, let us know. So they were super understanding. So their customer service team is A plus. I got my list of things. I got my stuff. So the first item is a Mary Sky Navy Michelle Asymmetric Detail T. And I'm telling you these names because if you see anything you like, you could tell your stylist like, hey, I saw the Michelle Asymmetrical T in Shannon's video. Can you send me one? So this one is a navy top and I'm wearing a navy dress. So I really like navy. Um, it's asymmetrical. So it has a little bit of a um, I, it's not so much a shark bite, but it reminds me of a shark bite. So it goes down in the front, super flattering cut, and there's little buttons down the front of it. So I thought this was really cute. I opened it up and I was like, okay, this is kind of plain. But once I put it on, I was like, this is a really nice basic. I love the way it drapes off my body. It's not clinging anywhere that I don't like. It's really comfortable. This is a super, super stretchy fabric. And the asymmetrical cut is really, really flattering. It draws the eye into a really nice shape. So this one was an unexpected favorite. This one I am definitely keeping. I love the color. I love the fabric. Um, and I love the cut of this. So this one isn't a size 1X. I'm like a 14, 16. So fits me great. And I highly recommend this one. Next is a Mary Sky. Nile printed knit pencil skirt. So it's the same brand as this one. It's upside down. So it is a charcoal gray and black striped skirt. Um, don't be afraid to wear horizontal stripes. This looks so cute. I've actually never seen anyone look bad in horizontal stripes. I don't know where that stigma came from. So this one was really cute. Again, super stretchy, but still thick. Um, I keep trying pencil skirts and I think because I get the ones that are like for office workers, they're so structured that they do not sit on me correctly. I carry a lot of my weight in my lower stomach, so it just like clings and creates a crease when you're wearing like a really structured pencil skirt. So the fact that this one is really stretchy and will move with me is a lot better than a structured one. And the fact that this is so thick, it makes it good for work. This one um, hits me right below the knee. So again, it's good for work, pretty modest. I am just not a huge fan of pencil skirts. I really like skater skirts. Um, and I don't have a job that would call for like something like this to be in my everyday wardrobe. Um, but if you do, I think this is a really good option. Again, great length, really thick, and it's stretchy. But I just don't have a use for this one. So this one I'm gonna pass on, but um, you know, it's not terrible. This next one I actually wore last night. I was doing the try on yesterday, and then my aunt wants to go out to dinner, and I was like, whoop, I'm already in a cute dress. So this one is the brand Geely. And it's the Douglasville Lattice Knit Dress, and it's in a size 1X. So just a, like a, maybe a paint splattered kind of pattern, but to me it looks like feathers, kind of pattern, black and white dress. Kind of skatery, but kind of shifty. I put a belt on it and I felt really cute. Um, and then it has the lattice work up here, and the lattice is kind of higher. A lot of times lattice is right on your boobs, giving you cagey boobs, which, I like for certain occasions. This lattice work is right on the chest plate. So again, a little bit more modest. You can, you know, go say hi to grandma on this one and not feel like you're like, hey. So a little bit more modest. This one was really cute, really flowy, really stretchy. And yes, I wore it with the tag and I just realized that, but I went out with this tag on. Um, but this one was really cute. It's more so of a lighter dress. So winter in New Jersey is kind of brutal. Um, but I wore it last night, it was like 40 degrees out, whatever. But I can see myself holding on to this until spring and summer and putting on a denim jacket with this. This is gonna look so cute because it's nice, easy breezy, flowy, um, and it looks really cute and elevated while still being super comfy. 
This next one is really cute. Like when I took it out of the box, I was like, okay, I love this. So this one is a Ryan White Carol three quarter sleeve peplum sweater in mauve. This is also a 1X. I love the color of this one. To me, in person, it looks more baby pink. So I thought that was really cute. Um, it has these markings on the front and back to kind of cinch you in right under your chest and across the back. And that creates a nice, um, easy, loose peplum. It's nothing crazy structured with the peplum. It's not going to be like how they used to be, you know, when it was like, bam, bam. It's like a nice, easy flow off the hips peplum, which is really, really flattering. And it just looks so nice and flowy. Um, this one isn't a 1X. I probably um, should have sized up for a 2X. Um, it did just like cling a little weird on my arms and my chest. So um, I might ask for this in a 2X. And as much as I like it, I think I might return this one. One, because it doesn't fit me how I want it to. And two, I just got like two taupe sweaters like right before this. And it's not taupe, but it's still in that like light family. So I was like, I already have two sweaters just like this. Um, so now is not a good time for me with this one, but I really love this. It's going to look so good on everyone. I love this peplum. It's so flattering. So, um, I love this, but I'm not going to keep it just because I already own things just like it. Finally, we have some jeans. Curve Appeal Bergen Skinny Jean in a forest green. Um, I do make a fuss about how I don't like pattern leggings all the time. I don't like that like loud look, but I do love colored denim and especially in like a maroon or a forest green. So I'm really happy about these. So these are in a really nice green, as I've said a thousand times, and they have a good stretch to them. These are in a size 14 and I feel like I'm probably more towards a 16 now, but um, these fit because they have stretch. So if you're kind of on the cusp you will get in these. Looking at the little tag right now, it has a compression and a lift, so that's always good. Um, I'm not too big of a jeans person, but I'm trying to get back on the bandwagon, um, especially when I realize, like, when I go back into an office setting, I can't wear leggings every day, like at my old job, so I'm gonna have to get some adult pants in my life. And these are also still pretty neutral. It's not like you're going to walk into like an office meeting and everyone's going to be like, why is Shannon wearing orange pants? These are like a nice forest green, which I think still flies, you know, in a normal atmosphere. So these were really cute. I really like the fit of these. I also really like colored jeans because when you're wearing like a black top, it gives a good contrast. Like there's clearly a top and a bottom. So I really like that look. I don't know. All right, so that was my Dia style box. There were some hits and some misses, but I really like that blue top and I love that dress. So those are really good hits for me. Actually, after I got this box, I then um, redid my Dia profile to just kind of give them a better idea of what I'm looking for, my prices. A lot of my prices were in the 50 to $100 range. Um, and then I realized they have a give me your lowest possible kind of money range. And I don't think that existed when I initially filled out my profile. So now that that exists, I can get even cheaper. I updated my style profile. I put pictures of girls I like on Instagram just to give them an idea of like the kind of looks I'm going for. So maybe my next one will be like a complete 100% a plus box and I've had really good boxes in the past and this one isn't a dud so I think it'll only get better from here and now that I gave them more ideas of like my personal style and styles I want to try. So if you're unfamiliar with Dia they are a plus size personal styling company much like like Stitch Fix but they only focus on plus size people so it's a really good thing to try. I got my favorite of all time leather jacket out of a Dia box. So you're going to get some good finds. You might get some things you don't really care for, but it's a $20 styling fee. And if you keep anything, that $20 goes towards the item you buy. Also, it's a good shopping experience if you don't like going to stores. They send you a box. You could try it on at home and they give you a prepackaged mailer and you just send it right back. So you never have to go into a dressing room and get all sweaty like me. So I hope you guys like that. If you're new here, I do plus size fashion videos every Wednesday. So there will be new clothes every Wednesday, including a D&Co active box. So look out for that one. I hope you guys liked it. Please check out my Poshmark. I'm trying to purge my room. Um, a lot of my items are under $10. So check out my Poshmark as well. So thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you next time. I knocked over the box. Bye! <laughs>